I got brides in Atlanta, she's the girl in the family, credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van, legacies. Holy crap, it's hot out here. Whew. Well, time to get to work. What is going on, guys? It's your boy, Marvel TV 300 bringing you an episode of Rebuild the Audi A4. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to be taking off the front end, draining the coolant from the radiator. Then we're going to be unbolting the hose. Not unbolting the hose, but we're going to be disconnecting the hose and pretty much unbolting the radiator support so we can take off that. Um, and we'll see what else we gotta do from there. But at the moment, right now, I'm about to hop in the A6, about to go to the bank, get me a new card. Had to dispute a transaction, so they had to close my old card. So now I gotta go to the bank and pick up a new one. So, in the meantime, let's enjoy riding A6. Don't sound bad, huh? She sounds good. Off the PNC we go. Um, and I will be coming out with more videos, like episodes of redoing the Audi A4. Also, I will be doing a project on the A6 also. But that's probably gonna be the end time where I do all that. I'm not sure. Alright guys, so we just arrived to the PNC bank. About to go ahead and get my new card. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm okay, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you. No problem. Alright guys, coming to find out. <clears throat> can I record in the PNC bank? You can't even record in the bank at all. So, sorry I couldn't get a footage of me getting my new card and stuff in the bank, but she pretty much didn't do nothing. I talked to the lady. She pretty much handed me over to another lady. And all the lady did was get my ID and my old card. Threw my other card away. Pretty much checked through the system about my clothes, my clothes card or whatever. So she'd be able to give me a new one. And she did that. I created a pin. And she just pretty much gave me a card then and there. I'm not sure if all banks do that. But PNC, that's awesome that PNC do, uh, do that. They give you your card right then and there when you're trying to get a new card. That's awesome. All right, so now we're about to head back to the crib and start the project. All right, guys, we finally arrived back at the house. Pop the trunk. All right, so my thing does not work, so I have to use this to hold it up. But, all right guys, so now the fact that <clears throat> I've already had this bumper off before, and honestly, I'm already, I'm also gonna be replacing this bumper, plus the grill. I'm gonna be replacing a lot of things on this guy. But right now, since I already had this bumper off before, um, just to let you know, it's like two screws on the side here. There's like two screws on this side also. And then these bolts up here, just to take off the bumper. So since, like I said, since I already had those, this bumper off before, all I gotta do is just unscrew both of these bolts on top, disconnect the fault lights, and then go ahead and remove the headlights. So let's go ahead and hop into that.
Don't look like there was much cooling in here. Nope, don't look like there was much cooling in here. So now we got the cooling drain. Time to move the support bar right here and then the radiator frame. Also, before we do that, we gotta make sure we have everything disconnected, such as holes and stuff. So like this one, this one was a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna go ahead, grab a flathead, try to get up in there. Then release that clip up. This probably gonna be coolant leaking out from this side also. So we're gonna lift that up. And just wiggle it. Feels like it's still tight. We use your fingers the rest of the way. Clip it up. And the shit easy to come up. There you go. Just like that. But now that's done. Go ahead. Check to see if there's any no holes. There's big holes right there with the metal clamp. Use a flathead to loosen that clamp up. That's what I gotta do. Go ahead, do that. Take that off. Then just to make sure there's no more other holes. Yep. The holes right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen that up. Take that off. Yeah, hose right here. 
Then you got this one. Then you have another hose right here that you gotta disconnect. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's this big hose that runs from the side into the cooler. And then also, you do have these bolts right here. So once you take off the front bumper, it pretty much will expose these four bolts right here. So you do have to take these four bolts out and then come over here. I only have one, two in. So there's only two I have to take off this one, but all four on the other side. And then also you have the power steering system right here. Pretty much follow the line to the back to these two holes right here. You have to pretty much pinch these clamps off, slap the holes back. Um, once you do that, take these sensors off also. Once you do that, you should be able to take the radio to support off. Look at the radiator. Looks filthy. All them bugs that got into it. I'm going on in the back of the Like a hell cut. There is one more line you have to disconnect that is connected to the radiator support and it's this line right here. This is, I'm not sure what line this is, but I know. It's easy to just take it from the front instead of having, or you can, it runs right here beside the, the bottom of the radiator hose. So you gotta take that off on both sides also so you do have two all right guys that's gonna pretty much uh wrap up the video for today um did not get the radio support off because i have not yet to disconnect those lines yet but after those radiators should be able to come off i'm gonna run through everything make sure everything's disconnected and unplugged um so yeah pretty much after that we got more work to do so you guys stay tuned hope you hopefully you enjoyed this video please leave a like comment also subscribe to my youtube channel um i am going to try to come out with more a lot of more contents project contents things like that um but yeah other than that you guys have a wonderful day peace Lightness creep while you and me repeat this bittersweet heat 